to. Do you have a favorite mixtape memory? Yep. Um, that was um, the good old days with uh, Big Stacks. It was uh, one, of mm. my favorite, uh, one of my favorite personal artists. Uh, I first heard him on uh, via MySpace 14 years ago. Yep. And uh, I don't know why somehow like he sounded different to me, you know, um, Mm. He had a lot of energy in his music, which is what really inspired me. And uh, I'm actually the one who hit him up first because I, I personally gotcha. wanted his music in my computer. So I asked him for music mm. first. Um, you know, he's a very humble guy. You know, he sent me all his music. And uh, that's when I started, you know, thinking about working with him. Definitely. Um, but yeah, also, uh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't really I can't really just say like it's, you know, it's only him and stuff, you know, there's yeah, a lot yeah, of other sure. artists that I rock with, like uh, Young L.A. Uh, of course. That's another one that I really always yeah. enjoyed his music. Uh, even before his Grand Hustle deal, I was always a fan, you know. Um, mm. You know, I, Young L.A., Big Stacks, uh, especially producers like um, I, I like uh, Zaytoven, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Southside. Mm -hmm. um, and a bunch of pretty much all the artists that you saw me working with are artists that I really liked and enjoyed working with. For sure. Respect, man. Yeah. Um, speaking of big stacks, like I said, that he actually motivated me to reach out to you. Um, and you know, like I said, big stacks, I think it was like oh nine ish. Uh that was like high school days for me, but I'm pretty sure I probably found his music on MySpace too. I can't remember how, but his shit was always riding. Like, I Gotta Eat, Uncle Tom. It was so many records that I really enjoyed from Big Stacks. Um, and he's from Chattanooga, so I, I don't even know how, like, his shit spreads. Because I'm from Ohio, so that's where I was. But it's like, that nigga's shit was so dope. Um, so talk about Big Stacks, man. I know we had kind of spoken to DM a little bit. Um, but I always wanted to know where has where has he been? Because I, I I was a fan, you know. Yeah, our last conversation, um, like for like music stuff, was probably like a few years back. Uh, you know, he's really been. I don't think he's been working on any music at all. He's just. Um, I can't really say what he's doing too much because I, I have no idea myself. But what I do uh, can say is that, uh, you know, an accident happened as he was working out. And because, uh, he, you know, I, you probably know, like, he's a big guy and he does, like, heavy weights yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff. So mm -hmm. an accident happened as he was working out. And, um, Jesus. yeah, he lost – I think he lost part of his memory. And uh, he could not – I don't think he could even rap at that point anymore. So he completely mm. lost it. But, um, you know, I still talk to him here and there. Uh, you know, I, I wish him well and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate because I feel like at this current time with the music and I was going, you know, there's a lot of opportunities for new artists to grow up, especially artists that sound different. You probably already know that. There's like a million of them out there. So I feel like mm -hmm. right now would have been like a good time for artists like him to, to grow and, you know, get even bigger. But, unfortunately, that's not what's going on right now got you got you man well yeah definitely prayers to him and um you know definitely you know just keep his music and name alive you know that's all you can do at the end of the day so big stacks is actually one that i would like to work on um at least mm. have a project with him with like that have like all his best music all together so definitely yeah. definitely that'll be super dope and i think a lot of people would absolutely appreciate that so for sure Oh yeah, um, it's, about, it's, it's oh, actually sorry. it's actually crazy. You're not you're not the only person who reached know, out to me about him. I believe it. I believe it. I believe that. You know, back then uh, on, I think uh, you know, I play a lot of games and stuff online and stuff. And uh, one time I had Got my you. DJ name as my uh, you know mm, uh, username on on Xbox yeah. and stuff. And I had people hitting me up in my DMs like, "Oh, what's up with Big Stacks?" But like it was just random people, wow. you know. So. Yeah. yeah it's crazy like big stacks really had so much influence it's just like i think at that time social media damn sure wasn't what it is now so i feel like people knew but it was just 
it was like if you knew you knew you know what i mean so that's why i was saying i think like a lot of people would love to just get that tape because like people want to know where he been you know what i mean a lot of people really rock with his music even if you go to like youtube on your page um you still have people commenting like you know recent comments like man this is still rad so you know big stack definitely had a, a, a major influence on on trap music um and I think it's just one of those things. If you know, you know. You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree. Mm-hmm. Facts, facts, facts. Um- the progress report.